of uh, movie I, film I was in called The Campaign. You know. But that, that film, uh, which has a black guy in it, um, I played uh, a guy named Marty Huggins, which is a great character to, to research and to uh, get into as, um, as an actor. I do like the movie, though. Thank you. I yeah. thought you would. It's a great film. It's I a like film it. that I did. Um, First time I saw it, I was on a plane. Captive audience. Couldn't turn the motherfucker Were there snakes off because there was nothing else on. So I had to watch it. And yeah, before it's I knew a, it, I it's found a great some film. Fucking, it's like a political... I, I found some laughs. Um, I don't know if satire is the right word, but it, it, it's something that I did with Farrell, and uh, Farrell's a great guy, so... There you go. No, it's... No problem. Um, so I'd kind of like ticklish? to be home for this. Huh? You ticklish? No. Hmm? Huh? You ticklish right there? You ticklish up here? <laughs> You're laughing. You must be ticklish. Go up the ladder a little bit. I'm ticklish right here. Give me a tickle. Give me a little tickle. Give me a little tickle. What are your hobbies? Stiller. It'd be cool if you like change your last name to They're Done That. Yeah. Yeah, right. You get it? I do get it, yeah. It'd be if I was from the South. You're from the South, right? Yeah. Then it'd be better because it'd be like been there, don't been. Are you making fun of the South? Not at all. Because people down there, they don't, wouldn't like that. No, no, no. They're stupid enough to go to your fucking movies. <sighs> you won Best Actress. Have you ever thought of aiming higher and trying to win Best Actor? Um, I, yeah. Good question. It is good. It's thought-provoking. Because the people that have won Best Actor are like Pacino, Robert De Niro, uh, no. Marlon Brando, Jack Nicholson. Right? Is that, yeah, that's the kind of, yeah. Bones it out. Um, uh, oh, God, that really hurt. Did that, I'm sorry, did that hurt you? Yeah, I felt like we barely thing. touched. Should we, should we see a clip? That was good. There you have it. Yeah. And just to be real clear, uh, with the audience, that's that's the part of the film where the monkey grabs a, a frog to suck on his genitals. Right. Oh, cool. What movie in your career, if you don't mind me asking, and then I'll do mine, have you been in that you're not that crazy about that you've done? Hmm. Um, I did a movie called Highway to Hell. Mine's uh, Night at the Museum, too. Mm-hmm. I thought you were referring to movies that we were actually in. Yeah, the movies that you've been in. Oh, okay. It's too bad because at Night at the Museum 3, they're, they're casting that one now, and there's like this role of this little lighthouse attendant. He's about four foot one, grumpy. Could I be in it? You could definitely read for it. Do you want my email address? Um, I'll have them get in touch with you. Don't be off put by this email address. This is before I knew you. Okay. Just email me here. And uh, when does it shoot? Your email, this is your email address? Yeah, this is, I didn't even, uh, we, I... Your email address is benstillerfaggot69 at verizon.net. Yep. Benstillerfaggot uh, at verizon.net was already taken, so I had to add 69 at the end. Okay. You, uh, you played in a movie called The Hunger Games. Um, yeah, isn't that your life story? <laughs> you shouldn't say that. That's off-putting. You should be off-putting. Wonderful atmosphere you have here. It's a great set, it's a great, a great, incredible spread. In fact, I was having some, can you bring some of those cherries over? I was having some of these cherries. Did you, have you tried any of these cherries before? Just take one bite of it. Is that not the nicest cherry? Mm. Let me know. The, don't, well you had the, um, thank you. You okay? Let me let me help you, let me help you with it.
2 and 3. Do you ever wish you had been in the good one? Was it always the plan for each movie to be worse than the last one? Um, I don't know that that was necessarily the plan. Sometimes that just happens. You have 12 million Instagram followers. How long did it take you to apologize to each one of them for Bumblebee? I walked out of that movie. I'm just kidding, I didn't walk out of the movie. I skipped out because I was so happy to be leaving. I'm such a fucking, you gotta be, everybody's gotta be a superhero now? Not everybody, apparently. Only heroic people. They asked me to be in one. <clears throat> Which one? Fat Albert. Have I told you that I enjoyed the movie super bad? No. Good. Your superhero character is called Captain Marvel. Yes. Well, they really have stopped trying, haven't they? I mean, why don't they just call it Captain Comic Book or Captain We Can't Think of Anything Else? And what would your superhero name be? Captain Crunch? The Bulk? Like the Incredible Bulk? Yes. Well, all of those you just said are much better than Captain Marvel. Don't say anything. I'm counting it in. This is my show. You don't say the one. You go three, two, and then we throw it to you. You have to keep your fucking mouth shut because I'm counting the show, Red. This is a Christmas fucking spectacular, okay? Uh, in your downtime, what do you uh, get up to? Well, I like to uh, do a lot of work with the community. That What's going on? You're fat. Do you wish that you had ever followed your parents into comedy? Taking that route, comedy route. Mm. Okay. I'm done. Go to the bathroom? No, 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 I'm leaving. I'm finished with it. Yeah. I'm lying that you're very private and decline to answer questions that make you feel uncomfortable. This is a two parter. <clears throat> is that true? And how old were you when you got your first period? What's weird about that is that, it, that, that sentence ends with a period. And a question mark. To manage dance teams, hip hop groups. Oh, that's you know, great. Yeah. Anywhere from four to 50 kids, and just a lot of energy, yeah. a lot of motion, a lot of fun, a lot of high fiving, a lot of smiles. That's, the mo that's basically the mantra of it. It's like a lot of, uh -huh. a lot of fun, a lot of high fives. Yeah. Is that what you said? I said, if you're listening, a lot of motion, a lot of high fives, yeah. and a lot of smiles. That's what I said, and I was pretty clear about what I said. I'm listening to what you're asking me, and if you're not listening to my answers, let's just call it a day. But the mantra is just the... Just shut up about the mantra. Just shut up. Okay? Yeah. Okay. If you can't get the fat out of your ears and listen, okay. then why am I here? Get the fucking fat out of okay. your ears! you know what? I'm not that fat, okay? I'm not that fat! Lost nine pounds. <laughs> what are the things that get on your nerves, like when people ask you to do things in interviews? Um, like or ask you, because I thought it'd be cool to, because um, you've probably never been asked this before, mm -hmm. is to do the uh, blue still look from Jewlander. From you, what? The, uh, from Jewlander, the blue still look. Have you, do you do that a lot? You mean, uh, you mean Jew steel? Is it Jew steel? Oh, they told me Blue Steel. I haven't seen the movie, Juice Steel. Do the Juice Steel look from Blue Lander. You were homeschooled. Are your high school reunions lonely? Did you go to the prom with anyone? Mm -hmm. I was homeschooled. Oh, were you? Yes. And did you go to a homeschool prom? Yeah, I went with my teacher slash mom. It was uncomfortable at first, but you know, once we had some booze in us, it was fine. We had uh, that lunch one time. We did have a lunch, yeah, right, yeah. in New York? You're a big lunch guy, too. Yep. I knew that was the case. <laughs> I, 